guys, Leah here. So today's video, we're gonna talk about goals. Goals are very important. You know, like every New Year when January comes, make we all make these huge goals for New Year's, like I'm gonna lose weight or like I'm gonna save more money or I'm gonna not go shopping every day, kind of goals. But they last for like a week and then that's it, and we don't do it ever again. That's the problem. We have problems setting goals and keeping goals. So today I'm talking about how we to set goals, how to keep them. We're talking about long, uh, short-term goals, long-term goals, and what I have to call the ultimate goal, where it's that huge goal you try to get to at the end so you have achieved what you want to achieve. Okay, so why do we have goals? To either because we want to achieve something, and we want to feel accomplished. When you have a goal, you you have something you want to achieve, and you want to feel good about it. Like you have a certain thing you want to get to, and you get to it, and it's complete. You like, I did it. I feel good. I feel like I've done something in my life. So the you know, goals help you feel good. It's a, one of those instant feel gooders, as people say. So it's good to have them. But the problem is we don't know how to keep them. As, and for a long period of time, because I think they make, because I think some people make goals that are too big that they can't achieve, and they get stuck, and they're like, okay, I can't do this, and they give up. So that's nothing. Why we give up? We give up because either we done them before and they failed, so we not going to try it again, or we don't know how to set goals in the first place, so we don't do it at all, or we're just lazy. Well, if you're lazy, that's your, I can't do much of being lazy because you're just lazy, but. Is fixable, so this way to fix it. So there are different types of goals. There are short-term goals. There are long-term goals. There are smart goals. Another complex kind of thing, which I'm not going to get into right now. And there's the ultimate goal. What I have to call it. the ultimate goal is that huge goal that you want to get to. That's bigger than your short-term goals and bigger than your long-term goals, and probably bigger than smart goals. But it's the huge at the end, you know, the big thing. So we're going to talk about how to achieve short-term goals, sorry, short long-term goals and ultimate goals. So short-term goals are, as, as I said, keyword, short. They're like less than six months or just six months. They shouldn't be goals that take forever to do. They should be easy to achieve. They should be small goals, not large goals. They should be, you should be able to do them in a small amount of period, in a small amount of time. So, like example of a small goal is like let's say let's say for example here on YouTube, people here on YouTube will be aiming to get subscribers. We want people to subscribe to our channel. We want people to watch our videos, to like what we do, and to come back and compete and to continue following us. So, a short term goal for a YouTuber could be, I want to I want to achieve a thousand subscribers. That's possible in about a six month time, I think. Okay, if I talk about short term goals and them being short, not long, I mean as in time-wise, six months only, is be realistic. Realistic as something you know you can achieve in a small amount of time. So don't think of goals that you have, that you can't do. Like for example, if you, you should not be, if you, you should not be saying goals say I'm going to cure cancer if you don't have the resources or ability to do it. Just, I'm not saying you can't do it, you're unable to, but if you don't have the resources and ability and experience to do it at a short amount of time, you can't do it. And it's obvious. No one's gonna solve cancer in six in six months. I don't that just say. But that's the next example. So your short term goal should be a very small thing. Like I said before, they should be if you're a YouTuber, your short term goal could be I wanna um, gain thousand subscribers in six months. That's possible. If you're a designer, you can say I wanna have a website up going six months. That's possible. Those are the example of short-term goals that can only be done in six months. Now, long-term goals are a little longer. They may take longer than six months, probably up to a year or two, or something like that. Long-term goals are more something on a bigger range. They're a larger idea, a larger task to be done. They take a little more work than six months than short-term goals to do, and they require more of your time and effort to get them to cheat. An example of those could be like if you're YouTuber again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use example YouTube because we're on YouTube, so it makes sense. So like if you're a YouTuber, your long term goal would be like I want to get five thousand subscribers. You could up the number every few months or every year. How much you want to get more done? So it's six months. And your first short term was thousand subscribers. Now let's bump it up to five thousand. 
It's possible if you work hard, be consistent, you can get to 5,000 subscribers. If you do it, if you work hard, it, it's possible. And if you're a designer, you can be a goal like, um, uh, I want to get more clients. And a long term, let's say I don't have a lot of clients that I want to get more. Certain, certain amount, maybe like I want to get like 10 more clients. You can do it. Work hard at it, network, meet people, get more clients if possible. Long term goals are a little more bigger, but take more time, more work to do. But they're achievable. Okay, and the last type of goal I'm talking about is the ultimate goal. So like, this is like the big goal. This is the goal you dream about at night. This is the goal you fantasize about during the day. When you daydream at work, when you daydream and sit at home, you're daydreaming. This is the dream you dream about. This is the one you, this is the, the ultimate goal. This is bigger than a short term goal. This is bigger than long term goals. It's probably bigger than smart goals. But the ultimate goal is the, is like the goal. It's capital G O A L, the goal you want to get to. And usually you only have one of those. Usually you have one big goal that you want to achieve overall. And usually your, your short term goals and long term goals should lead up to achieving the ultimate goal. Like for me, my ultimate goal one day is to start a design school. I want to have students, I want to have a design school under my name because I think it'll be great because I want to teach people design, I want people to learn about design and everything, the law of art and part of life and as a learning experience. And I, I would love to do one day, I love that there'll be a WW Design School one day somewhere. I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, anyway, sorry, let's try. But yes, the ultimate goal is the one you want to get to. It's the main one you want to get to. That should be your main goal. That's the thing that should inspire you to achieve your short-term goals and your long-term goals. Because that's where you want to be at the end. That's the goal you want to say, I did it, I achieved, I worked hard, I, it's, on, I, it's done, I've done it. I know I've done, it's happy, everything. That's the goal you want to do. So. Ultimate goal is the ultimate goal. It's the way you want to be. It's the end of the road. You know, tunnel vision is the end of the tunnel. That's what you want to go. That's the ultimate goal. So follow those, achieve those short term goals and the long term goals so you can get to the ultimate goal and be like, yep, I did it. Yeah. Now, all the goals I talked about today involve work and a certain work ethic. They all may have certain work extensions where some may need less work, some need more, some may need all your time or de dedication, but they still need work. Now some people think, oh, because I'm a short-term girl, so short-term goal, I don't need to work hard on it, but yes, you do. Maybe short-term, you need to work hard at it. You need to put your effort into it, you need to put work, work, work ethic into it. I don't believe in like, because I'm a short-term girl, and it's only going to take me four months to achieve, I don't need to put a lot of work into it. Yes, you do. I just like, you need to put as much work into it you put into long-term goals, and you must work you put into it as going to your ultimate goals. How much you work and how hard you work and your work ethic depends on how well you will achieve them. That's what I believe. Like, don't slack off because you have a goal and you can achieve it in two months until I do it like the end of last month and then it'll get done. No, that's not, that's not cool. Don't do that. Work hard at each goal no matter how short time period they are. If it's a week long goal, put your work in, work time into it. If it's a long, if it's a year ago, put the same amount of work into you put into the week old goal, the week long goal. It will pay off in the end. Your work ethic is very important. You need to have a strong work ethic no matter what kind of goals you have. Work your butt off. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something about goals and setting your goals and achieving your goals and about short term girls and long term girls. Girl, girl, not girls, goals, sorry. And ultimate goals and how hard they can be and how about how awarding they can be. And tell me what your goals are. I wanna know what your goals are. You have goals for this year that you wanna achieve and what your ultimate goals. Tell me what it is in the comment section below. I will read it and I'm interested to see what people's goals are, especially this year in 2015. It's been a crazy year so far. So let me know what they are in the section below. I love to read them, let me know. And I'll tell you what my goals are on my website. So if you look at my website, www.designs.com. I'll write down my goals so you see what they are as well. Because my goals are more design related than personal. You can do personal goals too. This, this all I wrote was that today does involve a personal goal as well. But um, that's different because that's personal. What I can get to. This is only about design goals and if you're a YouTuber, YouTuber goals. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Okay, Bye. before I go, I have one thing to tell you. Starting Friday, 
is started my new series, March Museum. I spoke about this back in January, my very first video for, for the new year. It's called March Museum. How it works is, I'm going to go to a museum, you're coming with me. We're going to look at exhibits, we're going to look at what's a new museum, who the latest artists are, and we're going to explore a new museum. We're going to, new, we're going to a museum, er, a new a different museum every Friday. So it's really excited. I'm so excited about my new series. It's, it's, I'm starting Friday. I'm not going to where you're going first. I'm going to tell you where I'm going on Friday. You have to wait and see and find out. So you're coming along with me. Don't worry. I'll cover a mission. Don't worry. We got you. But the reason I started doing this because last summer I went to see a Jean-Michel Baptiste exhibit. And I got comments saying people, oh, people enjoyed the video and they missed the exhibit. So I figured out I have some of my subscribers don't live in the United States or don't live in New York City. And so I don't get to see it. some sort of things I go I go record and I see I show you guys. So I thought why well, not do a whole series of museum trips where you will come with me so you can see what I see at the same time. I think it would be great. So I'm really excited about this. It's coming Friday is the first day. We're doing it for a whole month of March. So we're excited. So look out for that. Subscribe to this video. Subscribe to this channel so you can see more of those. So you, so you can keep up and see where I'm going. You can come along, you can follow, and get to know what's going on in the museum of New York City. I'm really excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. So I will see you next time my new video. And I'll see you on Friday at the beginning of March Museums. See you next time.